All right, now we're going to talk about Greek pottery in the Archaic period and move into the Classic period of Greek pottery. And they started with the red figure, which stands out against the black figure. And the red figure would have been painted on as opposed to the black figure being carved or removed. And so with the red figure being painted, there was more uh, of an organic feel, more movement. Um, and the figures became larger on the pot than if you compare them to the, the black figure style. We still have the um, separations with the registers and still have some geometric patterning going around the vases. Um, they're just larger and more decorative. The use of slip is the same, it's just in reverse. So you're using the red slip as opposed to the black. And you're not carving, although you might be carving in some of the details inside to ha have the black come forward. Um, I strongly suggest you watch the video on the reduction firing um, to be able to create this process um, that's in the PowerPoint when I upload it if you're confused on that process. Um, let's talk a little bit more about um, the, dis the decreased size of the bands. You can see in the black figures, um, I'll go to the next slide, and you can compare a black figure vase to a red figure vase, and you see the size of the, um, the geometric um, uh, narrative actually getting smaller of the, the decorative portion, yet the narrative portion is quite larger. So every time you discuss, so here's the link right there. It says Ancient Green Pottery to the short video. I think it's about five minutes long and discusses, discusses the reduction firing process. Um, I can't remember what I was just going to say, but we're going to move on to the next slide. This is just kind of a little bit of joke for you. Ha ha. Okay, moving on. Let's go to the map. We are going to Pompeii, which is where this was found in Pompeii. And we're going to the Niobid Painter vase, which is a crater. And the craters were very large. Uh, I have 21 inches here, which is almost two feet tall, which is quite a large vase. This would have been used for water and wine. The wine in Greece was quite strong, and so they diluted it with water, and then it would just be served with like a ladle. A ladle. So this is 450 BCE, made of clay, so it's ceramic, and uh, 460, excuse me, to 450 BCE, and it's called Niobid Painter because that's what they um, they think is the person who actually painted it, painted it, and um, so it's called the Niobid's Crater, which makes it easier for you to remember, so you don't have to remember the name of an artist as well. Our theme here is humanism and classical tradition, which, as we will see in Greece, that a lot of uh, the themes will be the same. So let's talk about this a little bit. This On this side is the massacre of Ni Niobe's children. She had seven daughters and seven sons, and I guess she was bragging about how beautiful her children were to a goddess, and that was not a very smart thing for her to do. And so what you're seeing here in this vase is Artemis and Apollo, and they are killing the children. And you see them littered on the ground below them. You see them. You see the the swords and the knives going through them, and their their bodies are quite stiff in um, form. Um, let's see what else. This is red figure bodies, and so you'll see. Up at the top, you have a register, and at the bottom, you have a register with the geometric patterning going all around. Um, and then you see the opening of the space. So if I was to go back to the previous slide, you would see that there's a, a large difference in the way that they are um, displaying space. And so they're trying to break up the ground line here. So you haven't seen this type of thing where you have people on the ground, and then you have a whole different grouping above them. And so they're trying to create a sense of perspective. And you also see people in profile here and also three-quarter view, um, which is also new. So uh, that's probably the reason why they've selected this vase for us to learn about because of the way that they're trying to deal with the space. 
So let's, here's a close-up um, of the figures so you can see the details a little bit better and you can see how they are in three-quarter view rather than um, frontal or profile, strict profile line. The other side has quite a different story and I guess there is some, um, it's up for discussion as to what's really coming into uh, play in this actual narrative. Um, it says possibly Hercules surrounded by heroes in arms with Athena or it could be the warriors at Marathon. Either way, it completely is a, a different narrative from the other side and it, it's questionable as to why they combined the two stories. So the thing that you really need to take from this piece is the, the three-quarter view it's called isocephalism, which is right there, when you're trying to take advantage of different ground lines, and that's what they're doing, and so this was different. This is towards um, the classical uh, period. And I think, I think that's it for this one.